Yo, welcome Fronies. So today the patch 1.4 hit and I want to do a quick rundown because there's some major changes, especially in the new dungeon farm strategy. So watch till the end. So the first big thing is that the Halloween event is finally starting after the little issues that they had. They have made an own Halloween dungeon. I've already tested the dungeon in Korea. We have already figured out the best way how to farm it. I'm going to confirm again today after my workday that this is also working in global. And, and if this is the case, then I will release the Halloween event farm guide tomorrow. I think that should still have enough time because the event will last 21 days and you will have 21 dungeon runs. Now that event will also bring us new food and new fish. Regarding the new food that will be also in the guide regarding the fish. I highly hope that you listen to my suggestion to always buy your daily bait and to make sure that um, you are stacking it for the event. Because now we are having um, fish that are giving us movement speed, attack speed, so similar like a scorpion tail fritter. We are having um, stronger boss food actually. And for the people that want to get their mastery up on the weapons as high as possible, we're having another open world farm food here. With if the fish have different locations to be farmed at, I will also update you in the community post. They have also released a new outfit in the cash shop. I would actually not recommend you to buy those because the battle pass is about to be renewed in a couple of days. And the chances is not too bad that something similar will be in the battle pass. So it's better to wait a little and then make the decision of what you like more, where you want to spend your stuff on. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Then the in-game content schedule is changing from Wednesday to Thursday. I think in the patch there also happened a bug because I was able to purchase all my weeklies again. So basically another six dungeon contract scrolls out of all the weekly um, from the Sundries merch, all of that, every weekly was available for me again. So I highly recommend you check that out and buy it right away. And as always, make sure that you're buying all of those resources always on the, the first availability when you can do it. Because as you can see right here, the people that maybe have not bought it right away on Wednesday on the reset might not be able to do it to buy it again. So make sure you stay ahead, always buy it early. So here they have made two changes, which I find fairly interesting. So the first change is they in the conflict world process, they are making it um, into a PvP area that is bigger, bigger. So it's actually harder to go and get to the boss like it's easier for guilds to deny you from the boss. The second change here, that one is actually helping with that. So that means at the current stage, it was like this. You would go and kill a world boss. The winning guild would basically sit in the loot and try to kill everyone that is approaching the loot until they are able to pick up the loot by themselves. This is the strategy. And with that change, that should not be possible anymore. Another change is that the precious crystal drops that you got in all the dungeons from the mini bosses were distributed based on your damage. For me, that was favorable. Expo dagger really well geared. I always got lots and lots of those crystals in the dungeons. I found hundreds that way. And that will not be possible anymore. But I still think that that change is good because it makes it more fair overall. Then they are adding new profile frames. And I think they're going to go into a direction like Legion of Legends, where you always want to have like a frame that shows that you're really good, like a challenger frame, something like this. They're probably going to also link it to PvP events to be able to farm those frames and show off your abilities or like your skills to other people that way. So this is one that I think many people understood wrongly. This does not mean that you are now able to buy those chests with Solent at the Sundries. Right here, it's only, it's only at that crafter, the one in Stoneguard Castle, right here, right here, that one. And here you now have all the chests, rather than having it split up across all the other crafters. Then they have changed it, so some of the more specific to farm meats are now in like a category so it's easier to obtain it from multiple sources now let's go to the last part actually the dungeons all the rest is just like ui changes um, bugs and all of that we're not going to go into too much detail here but the dungeon change is actually huge so what they have done they have given us this randomizer option 
And I was already thinking like, what is that change? What's the reason for that? Because everyone wants to farm the soul shards so they can craft with the pity system. So you have to target from dungeons. But now they're giving a benefit and I'm not talking about a small benefit, like actually a huge benefit to completing dungeons that way. Because you will get one extra soul shard guaranteed if you do it. And that soul shard is not like one from the dungeons that you are doing. It's a selection chest. So you can keep those chests up and the dungeons that by randomly you are getting the least pulled into, those are then your ones where you can use the chest. So we have to see how it balances out if you still have to target from certain dungeons if you get unlucky with the variety. But I think this is a really good way to get more of those loot into the game without making it too OP. And it will also reduce the time that people that are starting out need um, to craft their purple weapon and get that power spike. And now the biggest chance, we don't know yet how high that chance will be, but you can see a whole dimensional essence salvation. That is worth 60 tokens in total. So 10 of each dungeon, and it's used to craft really good items in the game. Here you can see right here the chest with two rings that are best in slot for many builds can be crafted with one of those tokens. And with two tokens, you can also go and craft some really good best in slot here. Like for example, Phantom Wolf Tunic, many people are playing Shadow Harvester Crypts, many people are playing Shock Commander, also some people are playing. It's also the item that you use to craft your purple weapon guaranteed. If you are lucky, you're a new player, the time that it needs you to get the power spike from the purple weapon could be shortened, but of course we have to see what chance it is. If it's a 1% chance, it would probably not matter a lot. If it's actually like a higher chance, then it might actually already be the first change to make it easier for newer players to catch up. Yeah, if you still have any questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.